Welcome into the Blurred Wire. So we we have to do this pop up episode uh, because we kind of been doing them a little bit was as we've getting gotten more news about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and stuff. Um, but this is I don't even know if crazy is the right word. So Comic Con just occurred, and Ty and I are going to have to discuss some of the announcements that were made at Comic Con by you know, the MCU and Kevin Feige and everyone over at Marvel Studios. But first, got to say hello to our co-host. How are you doing today? today? Uh, how are you doing today, Ty? Bad. Bad. <laughs> I f- I'm feeling, I'm feeling recasted. I recast re-casted. my, my good feelings from earlier and I've casted them into bad feelings. Can you tell the difference? Mm, I think most Marvel fans are with you. Um, because if you don't know the news yet, um, first of all, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> second of all, how did you hear it from us? Yeah, right. Like, like we're doing this like what three days after it was announced. <laughs> right. Both people have been on it since it came out. They um, said no. We're waiting until Ty and Will talk about it. <laughs> Got to hear it from the source. Um, <laughs> uh, so of course, what we are talking about is the San Diego Comic Con announcements um Mm -hmm. in which marvel has announced that the avengers 5 movie is going to be renamed to avengers doomsday and dr doom will be the main villain and the actor portraying dr doom will be oh (laughs) that gas really Really? who else could it be oh my goodness yeah and the uh the main the main villain playing I mean, the actor playing the villain, Doctor Doom, is none other than Robert Downey Jr. And the crowd goes wild. Um, and like the initial reactions, I agree with pretty much everyone's initial reactions. I don't like it. I, I don't, don't. I'm a huge Marvel Cinematic Universe fan. I'm still going to see this movie when it comes out. They will continuously make money off me in theaters because I will have to see every Marvel movie in theaters. Yep. But I do not like this. Yeah. I can't. I'm not the it. big, I'm not the biggest MCU fan ever, but man, do I hate this? And yeah. do I, I get why people hate this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For being cause... a little bit more removed than you. Uh, I so get it because what a horrible decision. Yep. It reeks, reeks of desperation. Mm -hmm. And it's not even, and I'm like, who are you trying to appeal to? Because it's like, you had to know in some kind of focus group that your diehard fans are not going to like this. And your Mm -hmm. casual fans that feel like the MCU has fallen off and will only, you know, come into a movie if they really like it. I don't think they're going to come back because Robert Downey Jr. is in Doomsday because they're going to have missed all of the lore that built up to Doomsday. Like Mm -hmm. all of the Marvel projects, everything that's come out since Endgame is going to be tied into Doomsday. So it's like you can't like they're not going to come back just because Robert Downey Jr. is in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I mean, first of all, he's a fantastic actor. Don't get me wrong. I think he's um, what he's done with his life is incredible. And I think he's a great shining example. Um, Like he's he could be a great role model for a lot of people that have struggled with the same things that he struggled with. Um, But like it's over. It's good. You're done. Your set time is over. You no need to keep going. We did not ask for an encore. (laughs) Like this is like the band that like plays their set, does their final song and nobody yells encore. And like the lights come on and they just come back out on stage. <laughs> it's and like, you know, I think people would be saying that if he was also like, even if he was just playing Iron Man oh, again, yeah. like, hey, dude, we're you're done. Like, let's move. Let's move forward. The fact that he's just playing a new character and the Russo brothers have gone out of their way to confirm that it is not a Tony Stark variant. Yeah. Like it's because that was the one thing that I'm like, it would be really dumb, but at least I would get why you would have to cat. Like it would be like ruining like the the origins of the character, I think a little bit by making him a Tony Stark variant, but at least I would get why you would need to cat. There's no reason 
to cast aside from just like hey remember remember robert Downey remember Jr. remember can you, uh, can you please see our movie remember please? he just he just won an oscar for oppenheimer you guys remember that he's a good actor and if and if they're gonna re if they're going to recast why not recast the character that was originally planned out before with uh like kang yeah with kang thank you like recast jonathan majors yeah it like does. i want dr doom in my mcu and i want to see him but again jonathan majors wasn't so fantastic that he couldn't be recasted mm-hmm. like right i i don't i i could name you three actors that could do what he did john david right. washington could do what he did but keith stanfield could do what he did it, any of those it, was, it wasn't like um uh like Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Yeah. Or it wasn't like uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, where it's like, oh, these people were kind of born to play this character. It's even, impossible to imagine anyone else. Even playing. Chadwick Boseman as um Black Panther. I mean, mm-hmm. that because of the circumstance surrounding it, like and Marvel fans are very divided. Some people hated Wakanda forever and thought that they should have recasted him. Um I personally, I'm like, I think it was the right move to not recast him because I think he mm-hmm. did leave his mark and that character kind of belongs, that specific character, I feel like belongs to him and like mm-hmm. he, he had to die with him. Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of people are split on just that. But Jonathan mm-hmm. Majors wasn't even close to that. Like, just pick another actor. You did it for War Machine. You did it for right. Hulk. Like, it's fine. Right. You did it for Cassie Lang. Right. And you're doing it now. Like why why pick and choose where there has to be some other reason as to why they feel Kang wasn't going to be as as big of a threat. I don't know if it's potentially like responses from his inclusion his inclusion in the Loki show or in Quantumanium or or what like what else, but I it cannot just be from a casting issue. And, and if I'm it like... is, I think that's just what they're they're using to like they're blaming it on i think there's something deeper there i think it was a combination because they weren't expecting the response to quantum mania and then jonathan majors got in trouble so they're like maybe we should just drop it but Mm -hmm. again the issue in uh the issue in quantum mania was not kang that was Mm -hmm. not the problem with the movie Mm -hmm. like the problem was what you did with the movie the problem was you still had them win, and Kang was supposed to be this big villain who can challenge the Avengers, and you had him get defeated by ants. Like, mm-hmm. that was the problem. That was right. the whole issue. Like, the character itself was fine, and the movie would have been fine if you let Kang escape the quantum realm. And that would have mm-hmm. led perfectly into the next Avengers movie. It's like, mm-hmm. you just dropped the ball when it came to, like, the actual plot and how, and you wanted this movie to be a feel-good comedy when you were telling everybody that it's not, it's going to be different. And so, like, to me, you still had enough foundation to continue using Kang. I mean, you gathered the Council of Kangs, mm-hmm. and you, it's, and Jonathan Majors did a great job, obviously. He's a much better actor than he is a person. Um, mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> you know, based upon what happened to him. Um, and, but again, there are plenty of actors who have done, who could do that. Like, Lakeith Stanfield can easily capture the, um, you know, eccentric side of him. Like, he could do it because I've watched a lot of Atlanta. So, Mm -hmm. like, I could definitely see him doing it. And John David Washington can capture that intense side. And I don't think it would be hard for either one of them to switch back and forth between the different personalities that he has. So, I'm like, I don't... To go this whole route and change everything, I think it was like, we need to bring some spark back to the MCU and we need to recast Kang. It's like, well, we can't really... I think they knew they couldn't cast... Robert Downey Jr. as Kang because like Mm -hmm. they started it would just it would the optics would not be right to like Mm -hmm. have to recast and as someone played by a black actor to a white actor it just it just wouldn't work so they were like what if it would be like the it'd be like those memes where it's like a a Barack Obama biopic and it's played by Ryan Gosling (laughs) yes 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 all those things and people are like why don't we just do that introducing Kang the Conqueror and it's just Robert Downey Jr. again (laughs) which and again like if it was a white actor playing Kang in the first place it probably would have been fine but you know they chose Jonathan Majors for a reason 
but um, regardless to recast a character that's already n- not just in the mcu but integral and like one of the core elements of it for a long time with a like a poignant death at the end of his character arc to have that be the guy that you bring back this feels like this feels like the worst of comic books when they when death means nothing you know like when they just revive characters for you know exposition you know just to uh, just to get us to the the next point and this feels like yeah you're adapting it all right yeah (laughs) in real life but again i know that like and again we know that like tony stark is dead Right. And Robert Downey Jr. isn't playing another hero. He's playing a villain. But -hmm. it's like, again, if you want us to stick with that, if you want Endgame's impact to remain with us, leave it alone. You you gotta Mm -hmm. just let it sit. Tony Stark is dead. That means Robert Downey Jr. is also dead. They are dead. Mm -hmm. They are gone. Mm -hmm. And this it feels desperate. It feels... I'm okay that the Russo brothers are coming back to direct Doomsday and... um, Secret Wars, um, but even the story surrounding it, apparently people are saying that, like, it's pretty much because no other director wanted to do it. And, like, at one point yeah. they were eyeing Sean Levy, and I don't know if he decided he didn't want to do it, um, and he just did Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, Destin Daniel Cretton, who I thought did a great job with Shang-Chi, um, I guess tapped out of the project once it seemed like there wasn't, you know, a whole lot of um, explanation as to where it was going. And yeah. You know, it's like every time you hear something, it kind of just like brings it all back. Like the Russo brothers are coming back to direct Avengers. Like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. You know, they did they did a great job with the four movies that they did in the MCU. And mm-hmm. then you hear that, like, yeah, it's because no other director really wanted to come back. And mm-hmm. um, you know, and then to bring back Robert Downey Jr. and just like flood us with all this nostalgia. Mm-hmm. It it really it. reeks of like there is no plan, there is no faith in the people who are yep. trying to do something interesting. It just it just all reeks of trying to make as much money as you can out of this situation, and that is the biggest priority. Like Making the, it up the as mag- you go like along. the the interesting the magic of trying to tell this interconnected story through this series of movies was so unique and I don't think anybody has done anything to that. No one's done anything to that level or scale mm-hmm. uh, as the MCU did with its, you know, infinity. What What, what is it called? The infinity saga mm-hmm. with the infinity saga. But now they're just trying to strike lightning or capture lightning in a bottle again. Yep. They already did it once and they think themselves uh, able to do it twice and it's gonna just crash i'm afraid and it's like i think they just they're so used to churning out box office hits and everything too that like i think it's been like almost like an ego trip to like kind of have to like scale back and realize okay not every movie is gonna cross two billion dollars like mm-hmm. you know some of the movies aren't gonna do that high some of the movies you might be lucky just to break even you know Um, because it's not like like people say the mcu is in a slump and like it kind of is um but financially i mean it's not that much of in a slump like 2023 had two of its worst performing movies ever based upon their budgets with quantum mania and the marvels guardians of the galaxy 3 still made enough to even cover the losses of the marvels and quantum mania now usually Mm -hmm. in a film franchise you can't use a film from another franchise to say like okay the losses were covered by that based upon that but it's like it's not like you guys are like bleeding money or hemorrhaging money like you still have your franchise has still made over 30 billion dollars right and still just and like i don't think robert downey jr is right for this part like Mm -hmm. even after oppenheimer like i would have much preferred Michael Fassbender like that was a popular Mm -hmm. fan casting and to me that shows that like they're not as in touch with the fan base because like if you really really wanted to get in touch with the fan base if you really wanted to um, excite them then cast him because that's who everybody every every podcast about Marvel every every message board every everybody is saying oh yeah Michael Fassbender would 
make an amazing Doctor Doom from the MCU. And he mm -hmm. could come from the sacred timeline because, again, the X-Men storyline is in a different timeline. So you don't even have confusion over him being Magneto. Doesn't matter because he's from our timeline. But now this Victor Von Doom, he's not even going to be from the MCU's timeline. He's going to come from another universe because we can't, mm -hmm. like, he can't have existed in the 616 continuity and just happen to look just like Tony Stark. That makes no sense. So now right. it's not even like our villain. It's a villain from another universe. And, and all without buildup. All without, without buildup. Without buildup or fanfare or, or anything like that. And they were barely, I feel like they were trying to do the same thing with Kang, with trying to rush him in with, I think, not enough buildup. With mm -hmm. throwing him into Quantumania, it didn't feel like enough to make him a substantial threat, especially, again, when he gets defeated by it like a horde of ants. But uh, it it feels like they're just trying to rush to get to the same high again, and, and it's like that's that was DC's problem. Mm -hmm. Like DC was trying to be you, and that's why they right. failed and 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 and, and smoldered. And like and now, now you're trying to be DC. <laughs> you're making the same, or you're at least making the same mistakes, because again, you're not patiently just building up to. It's like it's okay to like you hit the high of Endgame. It's like just come all the way back down. And even mm -hmm. No Way Home was like a great high, but you can come all the way back down and just build it back up again. Like it's it's I I, I don't know. It's um, it's kind of like um like at my job, like we I work at Live Nation, and like because we sold so many chairs for our VIP section, like mm -hmm. management has like increased the goals of everything. And it feels mm -hmm. like that's what's happening at Disney Studios and Marvel Studios. They're like, oh, wow, you guys have made us this much money. So we're going to need to make sure that your movies gross about $6 billion every year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they've, they've said it. So, like, but instead of right. allowing it to, hey, we're restarting a whole new saga. So the box office returns aren't going to be as high because, again, we're starting over, getting some new characters in there, continuing some storylines, trying to cut off old ones. Um Yep. And I feel like Disney also like they just they can't cut off storylines like they 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 feel the need to introduce new characters mm -hmm. and they can't like replace them like like Hawkeye was uh, like the, the, the whole comedy thing. It's like they were afraid to I didn't think Clint Barton necessarily needed to like die, but I mean, like he right. lost his hand or went blind. Or something showing that, like, okay, he's really not Hawkeye anymore. There's he, no he's permanently out. <laughs> he's permanently out. He's being replaced by Haley Steinfeld's Kate Bishop. And the sad part is, you can't just say he's retired because he already came out of retirement. So you kind of have <laughs> right. to, like, if you want to replace him, you got to mutilate him, basically, make it so it's impossible for him to <laughs> shoot Nero. <laughs> That's what you, you did gotta to yourself. You mutilate your heroes. But now you have so many heroes because the only ones that have died are Black Widow, technically Captain America, and um, Iron Man. And it's mm -hmm. like everyone else is still... And again, you don't have to kill them all, but like, there's so many. There's going to be like 60 characters in Secret Wars, and I think that's why people like why directors didn't want to do it and i know comics is a little bit different because in the comics nobody dies everybody's alive nobody ever dies there's really not really what consequences and when but they in do, movies they come back very shortly after yeah yeah so like comics is very rare i think the only person that stayed dead for a long time is like gwen stacy and even she's been alive in like multiple different universes and become a superhero herself so like right. it's very difficult to do in comics but with movies, you know, you can't just bring everyone back because that just lowers the stakes for everything. Um, mm -hmm. But you, you're now at a point where it's like, OK, to hire a director, they're like, I got to balance 60 characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no amount of money will make me want to do that because that's just not possible. Like you're you know what I mean? And so mm -hmm. it's just it's very sad. Um, I think I don't think. The MCU is as in touch with the fan base as I think it is. And especially now in the era where, like, the fan base can literally talk to Marvel. Because, like, again, 10 years ago, we didn't have, like, all this podcasting and all. Like, we had internet blogs, but it wasn't the same. Where, like, people were actively talking about it. But it's, like, again, 
if you really, really wanted to please the fans and excite them again, Michael Fassbender, he would have been the guy because that's who everybody wants. I've literally, I've yet to meet a single person where I said, hey, Michael Fassbender is Dr. Doom. And they were like, nah, mm-hmm. nah let's not do that. Nah, I'm not feeling that. Not a single person, <laughs> MCU fan or otherwise. So, yeah, um, yeah it's just a this just, just just bad move. Mm-hmm. And I know Agreed. Robert Downey Jr. is probably excited to make another seventy five million, but I mean, I don't know. Like, there's there's no. I don't think this is like a red herring or anything. But I don't think the new Avengers movie is going to gross anything close to Infinity War and Endgame. I think it's going to be fortunate if it beats the first Avengers and crosses a billion. Maybe. Maybe it will. Um, We'll see. But it's just... Like I said, I like the Russo brothers coming back. Um, But even that just... And that's mainly because, again, they know how to handle large ensembles. Because it is difficult. And a lot of directors probably not wanting to do it is because it is difficult to handle that many characters. Um, Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, just like all the, it feels like all the narrative around the MCU is like every time you have a chance to make it better, you're just making it worse. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how they correct it. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, did they announce anything else at Comic Con? I think those are the main things because they confirmed oh. the Rooster Brothers and just Robert Downey Jr. Um, they not gave the nine... clips from some movies. Um, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I didn't follow it heavily, so I don't know for sure. But okay, I'm just gonna double check to see biggest Marvel news. Yeah, even like the Fantastic Four and how they're doing like a a retro '60s story in another universe with these characters. I'm mm-hmm. like, there's no reason why you couldn't have just done a Fantastic Four movie in our universe mm-hmm. and used some really good actors, maybe no-name actors, mm-hmm. just some really good actors to play the Fantastic Four and just done it in our universe. Like, they can get their powers in the same universe. It's okay. Like, it doesn't have mm-hmm. to go, like, you don't have to go to the 60s and make something where, like, they're stuck in the 60s. It's like, I don't understand why you have to go through all of that. Like, they can still just exist and just not have powers right now. You don't mm-hmm. have to wonder about like why haven't they helped out in anything? Say like, okay, because they don't have powers yet. Okay, that'd be like asking a random person on the street, like, hey, can you help out with this with Thanos invading Earth? No, I don't have powers. <laughs> like mm-hmm. they don't have powers yet. So you show them getting powers in our current where we're at in the MCU, twenty twenty four, whatever year it's supposed to be. Uh, right. So it's just it's it's. It feels like kind of a mess right now. And I hate describing the MCU as a mess because like what they've accomplished is so incredible and, you know, I love it. And I still think there have been great movies in the, um, in phase four and phase five, Mm -hmm. phase five just started. Well, I haven't seen phase five just started. So I don't actually, I don't know if there's any, well, yeah, no, cause I really like the Marvels. So I think there has been great movies in, um, phase four and phase five. But the problem mm-hmm. is just, um, but now I'm like, I kind of feel like it's kind of a mess. And it's a mess that as an MCU fan, I'm going to be in the entire time. They're still going to make money off of me. Mm. So the only way to win is by stop playing. Yep. I think that's the only, that's the only, um, that's the only announcement. Just that Robert Downey Jr., is going to be playing Victor Von Doom. So it kind of feels like Disney is trying to capitalize off of Oppenheimer too, um, mm-hmm. because it did so well in an era where like, because like 2023 was a down year for any blockbuster sequel, but the blockbuster like standalone movies did really well because people are like, I don't really want to see, you know, 11 Mission Impossibles or you know, the 10 Fast and Furious movies, like all the franchise movies didn't do as well as people thought they would. And then Oppenheimer went crazy. And it kind of just feels like, like bringing back Robert Downey, like if Oppenheimer didn't go so crazy and um, Robert Downey Jr. didn't win the Oscar for it, I don't think Disney would be trying to bring him back right now. 
it feels like mm-hmm. they did that because of the hype and everything that went around him after he found success post his Marvel career, which mm-hmm. again, like he's <laughs> saying like, oh, how do you find success post your Marvel career? You know, Robert Downey Jr. has had one of the most successful acting careers because of Marvel. Right. Like anybody. So it's like you don't right. like there's no top of the mountain that you still you 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 reach the top of the mountain like you you you're good you're done so, yeah and so bringing him back it just it, it feels like they're kind of trying to chase like now like Marvel Studios used to be the studio to chase and now it feels like they're chasing other studios like chasing Oppenheimer and chasing because like oh we haven't grossed a billion dollars since No Way Home which came out in 2021 so mm-hmm. it's like and Multiverse of Madness almost made a billion so mm-hmm. it's like. I don't know. I wish I could just be like, relax. Like, just go up to the studio. And just relax. But oh well. Right. Yeah. I guess that's um. So I guess let us know your thoughts. Do you like Robert Downey Jr. as Victor Von Doom? Um. Clearly, we feel the same way about it and are not excited. Yeah. Are you excited um, for the Doomsday movie the coming out? Are you excited for the change of focus? Let us know what you think. And how are they going to even do it? Because like they're going to have to like come up with so like is he going to be in the fantastic four movie too like because they got to come up with some kind of multiverse origin because again he can't come from ours so the new Mm -hmm. avengers movie the russo brothers are going to have to explain how he came from another dimension and is now coming into our dimension in addition to having 60 characters to roll into the story Mm -hmm. yeah you can see why not really it's gonna be a hot mess but I'm going to go see it anyway. So let us know your thoughts. And um, I guess until next time, we're going to go see um, pretty exciting. I'm driving all the way from Charlotte to Florida tonight to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh-huh. Um, so with with my co-host, Ty, of course, we're going to go see it together because um, there's nothing like seeing a movie together in person. Um, Absolutely. So, so next and week I can't we'll do... drive just because of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so next week we'll have the breakdown on that Man, it is so hard to stay off the internet since it's come out because there are so many spoilers out there i'm like i literally have to like open youtube like with my hand over mm-hmm. the, the thumbnails to like have, type whatever i'm looking for but anyway so we should have that video out next week and um yeah let us know your thoughts on this whole comic con uh fiasco and usually i use that term in a good way but not not this time in the lupe way yeah lupe way All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Till then.